Yesterday I got a text from one of my children who needed help and they're eight hours away. And I admonished them and told them, bless and do not curse. The Lord has always sent someone to help you and he will again. But the earthly mama and me felt anxiety and I immediately asked two dear sisters to pray with me. But I still felt anxiety as I was trying to figure out what do I do? How do I help? And then my own spirit spoke to me and it said, you're reacting in the flesh, Rhonda. You know what to do. This is a testing of your faith. None of that that happened yesterday caught my father by surprise. He knew everything that would happen. And he's answering my prayer and fulfilling his promise that he causes all things to work together for the good of those who love him and who are called according to his purpose. And I've also prayed that my father will do whatever it takes in my children's lives to bring them to a real and saving relationship with Jesus. And so is there any place in my heart for worry? Is there any place in my heart for anxiety? No, only trust. And so I handed my Lord that anxiety that I wasn't supposed to pick up. <laughs> you know how when you're a little child and you pick up something that you aren't supposed to touch and your parents will say, no, you don't need to pick that up. That's not good for you. That'll hurt you. Hand it to me. Well, we pick up things along the way sometimes too. Situations that we're in, we might pick up anxiety or or we might pick up anger or even bitterness. And the Lord doesn't want us holding those things. And we have to condition ourselves to immediately hand them to our Father. Father, I feel bitterness in my heart. Or, Father, I feel anxiety. Father, I'm angry. And I don't want it. I don't want it, Father. I w I'm handing it to you. Take it from me, Father. Take it from my hand. Take it from my heart. Take it and give me your love instead. Your peace instead. Your kindness instead. You come to him as a little child. And our daddy will take that. And he'll give us those good things to replace it with. He is the good and perfect Father. The trials are intensifying with each one of us. It's like our bodies are being attacked. Our families are being attacked. Very real struggles and hardships are falling upon us. But what does God's word say? James 1, 2 through 4 says, Consider it all joy, my brothers and sisters, when you encounter various trials, knowing that the testing of your faith produces endurance. And let endurance have its perfect result so that you may be perfect and complete, lacking in nothing. Genesis 50:20 Joseph told his brothers as for you you meant evil against me but God meant it for good in order to bring about this present result to keep many people alive I'm not going to lie to you sometimes I cry when it gets really hard and I get really tired I sit outside under the stars and I tell my father how much it hurts, how hard it is. And I cry at his feet. But then I sit up 
that I sing to Him. And I have joy in my heart. And I find myself thanking Him for the hardship. Thanking Him for the difficulties. Thanking Him for the trials. Because I know what He's doing. My father isn't glad because I'm hurting. It hurts him to see his children hurt. But what he's allowing is so necessary for us. He's testing our faith. He's producing patience. He's producing endurance. He's producing strength in us so that we might be able to stand against the things that are coming. Hallelujah! Our Father loves us that much. He asked me yesterday, Do you trust me, Rhonda? I said, I trust you, Lord. And he put a song in my heart. Oh, for grace to trust him more. <laughs> Tis so sweet to trust in Jesus, just to take him at his word, just to rest upon his promise, just to know, thus saith the Lord. Jesus, Jesus, how I trust him, how I've proved him o'er and o'er. Jesus, Jesus, precious Jesus, Oh, for grace to trust him more. I'm so glad I learned to trust thee, precious Jesus, Savior, friend. And I know that thou art with me, wilt be with me to the end. Jesus, Jesus, how I trust him, how I proved him o'er and o'er. Jesus, Jesus, precious Jesus, oh, for grace to trust him more.